so this is where we're going to mount it. I'm just going to put a screw in the wall to get started here. And then I'll mount it. So that's not going nowhere. Next is to connect the low voltage wiring to the to the connector there. So just kind of roughly figure out how much wire we need, make it look reasonably clean. So right about there. This is a four conductor cable, I believe. It's just telephone wire. So, I've got four wires. I'm just going to use all four wires in here. I don't think I'm going to need them for anything else, so I'm going to put them together. I'll put the, I'll put the red and the yellow together and the black and the green. Okay, so here's the thermostat. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this screw here, tie it to the uh, to the wires here, and then the two the wires, the other two wires, the remaining wires will come back down to the screw. So just need to strip some of this off. Again, we only needed two wires, but we're just doubling them up because they're there. So the red and the black will go together. Sorry, not red and black. <laughs> black and green will go together. And the red and the yellow will go together. So these are basically the two contact wires now. In case none of you are familiar, this is just a, a basic uh, thermostat that works on a mercury in there. When the mer when this there's a bimetal in there, when it temperature changes it rolls the mercury over, turns the thermos on, and then when it heats up, it rolls back and turns the furnace off. So I'm going to tidy this up later, but just for now I'm going to put two of the wires under here and then just quickly twist the other two wires together. together like that. So now 
We'll set the thermostat to its max temperature setting, which is, we'll set around 20 degrees. So there we are there. Now we'll move over to the other. So that mercury switch is actually setting the, the maximum temperature for the thermostat out here, so that if something goes wrong with this, it'll never go above what I've got set over there. It may get colder if this doesn't turn on, but it'll never go higher than what I've got set at the actual thermostat. So let's try it out by pushing the button. I don't know if you could hear that, but the furnace just clicked on. So I believe it's working. And there's my furnace over there. Fan will come on in a few seconds and uh, there we go. It's going to he keep heating until it gets to that temperature on the wall there, which you can't actually see a temperature because I've lost the cover. But uh, once it reaches the maximum temperature that we have set on that lever, it'll shut off. What I do have though, so on the side there, there's a plug in where we can plug in a thermo temperature sensor so we can monitor the temperature and then using Hubitat, I'm going to be using a rule to keep the temperature out here uh, somewhere between 5 and 10 degrees. And uh, then when I'm in the house and decide, okay, I think I want to go out in the garage and do some work, I can turn the heat on before I come outside so that it's nice and warm outside, or sorry, inside here because usually it's it's kind of chilly out here. I usually keep it about 5 degrees, but it's nicer if it's like 15 degrees in here when there's snow outside, of course. Okay, so I'll get the temperature sensor and plug that in. Here is a basic wiring diagram showing the series connection of the modified sawn-off with the thermostat.